Hey, this is Ellis with The Verge. Microsoft today rolled out the new Bing to users worldwide, so let's check it out. So let's try a search for Windows Phone, and as soon as the search shows up, you'll see that the new Bing has been grouped into three columns. There's Search Knows, Bing Knows, and Friends Know. So let's start with Search Knows. So if you see, this is kind of the same blue link search you've been used to. Uh, you'll notice that there's some blank space over here, which Microsoft got rid of last week as part of a UI update. So here's kind of the same search you've been used to. They tightened up the navigational bars up top so they're more relevant to exactly what you're doing. And uh, if you scroll down, you can actually see things that friends on Facebook have liked. And that's kind of the theme here, is that the new Bing is tightly integrated with social. And it's kind of trying to do what Google did with Search Plus Your World, but with Facebook, Twitter, and blogs, and Google Plus as well. If you look on the right side of the page, you'll notice this real metro strip right here, which is the Friends Know area. And if you see, we just searched for Windows Phone. So if you see my friend Harry Zhang actually has a photo of Windows Phone. It looks like it's broken. Uh, on Facebook, you can see Chris Ziegler likes Windows Phone. Other people like Windows Phone. And then People Who Know, which is actually Microsoft's intelligent algorithm to see who on Twitter knows something about Windows Phone. So Paul Throughout knows a lot about Microsoft and Windows, so he might be a good person to ask. You can actually see some of his tweets, reply, retweet, and favorite right within this screen. And activity isn't quite ready yet, but it's supposed to show queries and questions people have been asking inside of Bing on Facebook or inside the search engine. The section right here is called Snapshot, and it's going to be rolling out over the next few weeks. And it's going to show data just like what you'd be used to seeing in the search area, like for example, New York Knicks tickets, this kind of data like prices for cars, sports scores, things like that, like the map of a restaurant you're going to, they're going to show up in the right sidebar. And what Microsoft's really trying to do is take advantage of APIs like this one uh, to populate data without owning any of the data, like on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. So this is the kind of thing that's going to show up in that new snapshot section that isn't available quite yet. And depending on what you search for, this is also where ads are going to show up, either above or below the snapshot area, which is called Bing Knows. So Microsoft has a bunch of scenarios in mind when you're searching. So let's say you want to know about the strokes. You might want to go to a concert coming up soon. You might want to listen to some of their music. So the first thing you see is that here's 14 of your friends like the strokes. And if you click that, you can see their Facebook page and find out more. But if you go over to the right, you can see friends who might know. So Jesse Abrams has photos of the strokes. That's actually pretty cool. John likes the strokes. Lyle likes the strokes. Maybe I ask these guys about them. Say, should I go to this concert? What song should I listen to? Because Microsoft knows that when you search for something, there's not always an exact answer. It might be more relative. Because in real life, you might want to ask your friends like Kyle about the strokes. If you're really stumped, you can click here, ask friends, what are the best songs by the strokes? And you can also attach a link if you want people to uh, check something out in particular. So I'll attach their uh, official page. So you click that little link icon over here, and you can attach that. And this will actually post straight to Facebook. And when people post answers, then it'll show up in your activity feed right here. If you're thinking about going on a hot date to the park, don't know what it's going to be like, you can look up Bryant Park. You can see some attractions in Bryant Park. You can see a map. This is one of the things that's going to show up in Snapshot right here once it rolls out uh, completely. And then you look over. Uh, Stephanie has photos of Bryant Park. I could ask her about what it was like, where I should go. So if you want to ask somebody specific about their experience uh, listening to a band or going to a park, you can actually click the plus sign right here and say, how was the park? And if you, uh, you can add a link hit enter, and Stephanie will be notified. This will show up in her notifications menu on Facebook just as if she was tagged in a post or a picture of mine, and she can respond that way. Another way you might want to test out the new Bing is by typing in the name of a restaurant, or let's say you want New York pizza. And while, like I said, it doesn't seem like the API is working completely yet, like nobody's up here. I'm sure some of my friends have taken pictures of pizza before, almost positive of that. None of them are showing up here, but if you look, here's another place that uh, Bing checks for data. So these are actually places on people, places on Twitter that, uh, that is influential about the topic that you're looking for. So depending on what you look up, certain people and places might show up. Like let's say you want to know more about The Verge. 
Bing actually intelligently decides who might know about the verge. And it's actually pretty accurate here. You see Ross, Paul, Chris, and Eli, and Josh. And I can't promise Josh would get back to you if you tweeted at him about his site, but you can do it right from here and see, uh, see who's important. You can also see my brother likes the site. Maybe I could ask him about it. Jordan here has actually worked at The Verge, so here's another API call for, uh, for where somebody was employed. And uh, you can also see that with something like the New York Knicks. Not that any of these guys are going to tweet back at you, but you got people who know about the Knicks, Jeremy Lin, Baron Davis, and Tyson Chandler, we hope, know about the Knicks. That's soccer. Another thing the new Bing is useful for is shopping. You can see who owns something that you might want to get they've taken a picture with it. So if you type in Nike shoes, you've got your results here from Nike and some shopping results. And uh, if you look to the right here, my friend Corey actually has a photo of Nike shoes. So this kind of thing won't always be useful, but it's nice to see Microsoft taking advantage of uh, Facebooks and Twitters and other APIs to uh, expand the breadth of social search. So you can really see this data adding up to something in the long run. And while there isn't much here, Microsoft told us that they're really interested in expanding to Quora, LinkedIn, Foursquare. So if you wanted to look up the name of a restaurant like uh, Sunburst Espresso Bar, you could actually see over here who's so-and-so is checked in there. Then you could definitely ask them about it. But as of right now, it's uh, pretty empty. So all in all, the new Bing is an interesting take on search. And we actually think they were more successful than Google with Search Plus Your World because Bing simply just brings in more social networks. So we'd use this, although it doesn't really include all the social data we would expect it to just yet. But Microsoft says they're adding, hopefully going to add Foursquare, LinkedIn, Quora, and other social networks to really uh, make the search experience even more rich. And since it's not really obtrusive while you're searching, it's a welcome addition.